according to the teachings in the beginning the creator had a dream he had a vision and in his vision you know he saw the sun he saw the moon and he saw the stars and he saw more than anything that we could ever even begin to imagine in our minds the vision would be symbolized by the circle it would, become, it would come to be known as the circle of life the sun is in a circle the moon is in a circle the stars are in a circle we rotate around the sun in a circle everything reflects the vision of the creator that the vision that he had was a circle that we come to know today as the circle of life that what we put into the circle becomes the essence of what we receive in life what we put into the circle is what is what is returned to us that's why the elders always say what you be careful what you put into your circle and within the circle the creator put balance and our, our elders talk about the four quadrants that are a part of that circle of life that are represented by the four seasons which is a reflection of balance spring summer fall and winter and within the circle of life as human beings we were created with four elements that reflect our nature as a human being there are four parts that reflect that balance the spirit the emotions the body and the mind is what constitutes our the fullness of what our being is and we are to nurture that ba and ensure balance in our life by taking care of our spirit looking after our emotions our body and our mind in an equal way balance becomes everything in understanding and living out the, the, the fullness of, of life. Nature operates on balance. Like what we are doing as human beings, we are creating an imbalance. And what Mother Nature is about to do is about to bring balance back to the earth. The old people say in our language, we answer, the earth is about to change. And the way we understand it is that nature will use the forces of its own to help bring us back to balance. We cannot continue to destroy the environment, to destroy the earth and to destroy each other as human beings and expect to have any hope of future for our children. Nature will be the deciding factor in helping bring balance back, back to life. There's nothing greater than the power of nature. And that is something that we need to learn as human beings, is to work with nature, to be a part of nature. That is the way of our people, to work with nature, to work with the spirit. Because when you work with nature and you work with spirit, you're working with balance. I think that our, our biggest challenge that we face today as human beings is to try to, to, to regain the memory of our uh, agreement that we made with this this great spirit that we call the Creator. Before we came into the wombs of our mothers to, 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 to live the human world, it is told by, the, by our teachers that we had all agreed with the great spirit that we would come to help bring a, a fulfillment to his original dream and vision in that circle of life. And we had all agreed that we would come into this world to do everything that we could to help bring the fullness of his dream and which was to bring love to the world that he had created. That is our responsibility as human beings, is to perform all those acts of love to ensure a fulfillment of the vision that the Creator had for all of us. That is our role, that is our duty and our responsibility as human beings. Now it's time. It's the time for the people to wake up now. It's time now for the fire to be lit within each and every human being. Because what this is really all about is lighting the fire inside. We will light you know, the world in such a way that will truly bring light to the world in the way that we feel it in our heart. That there will be light, that light is what is going to prevail.
Thank you.